Right, this is the second tool kit uh, for the left arm. It's got 2,000 positions on it. Now just remember that you always need to activate your avatar before anything will work in Pandora. So make sure that you put your avatar on. Now if you go up to tool kits, you'll see now that there's two. Now if we have a look down here, you'll actually see that I've got both of them on here. Um, so you can take them off. Take them off. Now let's say we have started with the avatar. Um, and we want to make it a pose. So if you put that left arm on, that will actually go into a T-stance, which is sort of cool. Now, the good thing about this is it's got a new mechanism in it, so, because when you put a toolkit on, it is actually a separate product. Um, so for example, I'll just show you something here. If you put this into a, we'll just, I don't know, we'll just put it into a quick sort of position like this. Now normally when you put a product on, it will reset your avatar, but we've built a mechanism in here so that when you do put one of these toolkits on, it will actually save the pose and reload it for you. So like for example, if we put the head tool on here, you'll notice it will put it on and it'll come back to the pose. Pretty cool, eh? Now if you decide that you've got a whole heap of toolkits along here and you want to take one off. Um, when you take one off, it will reset the avatar. However, it has quick saved your um, your pose. So if you go quick load, it will actually go back to that pose. Pretty cool there. Eh? And another thing also, if you go up here and you go up to open pose file, it goes to your quick save folder. So you have all your quick, you can see I've got a whole heap here. The good thing about this is they're date stamped and time stamped, so you sort of know. So you can grab one out of there if you want and rename it to your own pose, but that's basically it. Pretty cool. Um, a lot of toolkits coming and you'll need them for the XAF exporter.